Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow. I am here on my Facebook and YouTube pages. YouTube channel, Facebook page, whatever. Kathy Bohannon, Creatively Blessed. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I got a fun strippy card of where we're using a bunch of little strips. And we've made this before, but um, I'm kind of on a roll making a bunch of them. So I'm bringing them to you tonight. So um, I am going to click over here and make sure that I got you guys on. I do. Okay. And I got, I got stuff to show you. I got a little show and tell. Hmm. I got a lot of show and tell, I think. But we're going to start out just, um, I guess, on the desktop. All right. So here we go. And yes, I can see your comments tonight. So y'all, look at that baby. I didn't see the baby. That's my puppy dog. Hey, Brenda, I'm so glad you're here tonight. Thank you for coming. This is baby girl. Hey, Lisa Oliver. So good to hear from you today, too. Um, this is baby girl, G-R-R-R-L. Her name is Mila. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm having these photo tiles made. I use... Um, freeprints.com one word f-r-e-e -E, free freeprints.com hey deborah gray happy fourth of july to you too angela hey hey um y'all i'm using freeprints.com i get a a free one of these once a month it just it's got um sticky things on it and you you just stick it to the wall right but you can also order for like two dollars on your first one maybe it's 250 I don't know it's got this little this little um cross shaped thing that you you put in the corner okay and it's got a level on it and that tells you where to hang your picture um hey Kathy Vernon hey Gloria Wolf good to see you guys so y'all this is one of my little galleries around the house um, we have this huge blank wall in, um, in the closet and hip closet. Oh, y'all hallway. It's a hallway. That's not a closet. Um, anyway, I've got a ton of pictures. They are just fun pictures that I love. Um, and they're all on these photo tiles. So again, it's called freeprints.com. And I also, I got like gosh, probably 90 some odd pictures here that came today. And this came on Saturday, I think. Anyway, so y'all, I'm going to make me a little puppy dog gallery. Hey, Kathy Vernon. Hey, Gloria. I don't know if I said hey yet, y'all, but if I did, well, here we are again. Hey, hey. Um, but I'm going to make me a puppy dog wall because I've got a lot of funny dog pictures because that's the kind of pictures I like to take and, um, and I like to hang around my house so all right so there's that this is called a photo tile i get one free every month but i do pay shipping um oh okay raise your hand oh hey heather hadn't seen you in a while right <laughs> raise your hand if you are from lizzie and aaron's page because we have Hickabilly Christmas coming up. No, it's now called Hickabilly Homecoming coming up. And I'm doing about 300 of these swag thingies. And it's it's just a pin, y'all. But I went on Canva and I um, I designed this, this little design, okay? The, the artwork, okay? With the bluish teal colored background, it says Hick. Hickabilly Homecoming, the location and the dates. Oh, Brenda, there you are. Kathy, there you are. Um, if any of you from Lizzie and Aaron's page are um, are not able to attend and get a swag bag, let me know and I'll send you a little button. I sure will. But I'm doing them by 20. So um, I have a helper. Um I did the designing and I'm doing all of the cutting out and you see all those discs, those circles laying on the, um, 
laying on the table there. So he's put them all in the button machine, and every single one is made one at a time. Oh, Kathy Vernon says, cute. Thank you. And Angela, my free prints or photos arrived today. Thanks for sharing your code. You're so welcome, Angela. So um, did you like the quality of the pictures? Are you, are you a fan? And it's okay if you're not. Just let me know. But mine have always come out really, really good. But let me know. Um, Brenda's doing virtually. Brenda, are you getting a swag bag? If you are signed up for Virtual Plus, um, you should be getting a swag bag. But if not, I'll send you one, my friend. Oh, you are doing, yeah, you're doing virtual, but I don't know about Virtual Plus. Okay. Um, all right, what I want to show y'all next. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a little bit of this. Okay, so this is the photo album that I bought from Hababi Lababi. Okay, Kathy Vernon's getting, okay, you'll get a swag, so you'll you'll get one um, in your swag bag. But if for any reason it's not in there, let me know and I'll send you one. Um, and I'll wait and see if Brenda's getting one. Okay, so this was on sale at Hababi Lababi. Okay, and I'll tell you what I did. Did I show y'all this last week? Maybe. I don't know. I was in a mood last week, y'all. It was Tuesday. Um, we had just gotten back home from, y'all remember, 17 levels of hell heat, right? Um, Angela, the quality was just what I hoped for. I'm a fan. Yay! It'll help you get photos off your computer. That is awesome. And Angela, that's the reason why I, I did this to begin with was because all of us have thousands of photos on our phones, right? But right here, I have, I have, when I got all of these in, in the mail today, I don't really want to show all the people. Um, but anyway, that's my son. I can show you him. Um, and it's not that I don't want y'all to see them. It's just that, you know, this is the internet, right? The pups. But what I did, I separated them all out in categories of what I'm planning to do. And I just put a piece of um, paper around them and labeled them. And um, always take a picture of the birthday cake, preferably before they cut it. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's anything. Okay, that, that should be good enough. So I did. I went ahead and sorted them. But back to this. Brenda's getting a swag bag. Good, good, good. Y'all, I might be reading your comments twice. I don't know. I think I might be tired. Am I tired? I don't know. All right, so I got a visitor's guide. And if I showed y'all this last week, so sorry. I, my brain was baked because of the heat. 17 hells, remember? Okay. Um, so what I did, I just tore out and cut out a bunch of pictures. All right, this was a freebie. So if you're wanting to craft on a budget, this is a great way to do it. You go to freeprints.com, which I'm not getting a, I'm not getting anything from them for even mentioning them, but I will be tagging them. And if you want my code, let me know. I should have been better prepared, but I don't have it with me. Um, but anyway, um, if you want to craft on a little shoestring, you can do that. On the free prints, you get X amount of free prints. I think it starts out with 40 or 80, something like that, um, per month, and you pay shipping. Mine was like $7.95, I think, total. I don't know. And then Hobby Lobby, this was on sale. All right. And then this is free, right? You can even print pictures off your um, computer. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, does anybody know these boys? I don't. So I'm going to take them out. But they were in my in my thing, y'all, over here. Okay. I'm going to take them out. I don't mean like take them out, like call the police. I just mean... <laughs> Uh, uh, so y'all, did you know that when you're out on a boat in the middle of nowhere and you go to your maps app on your, like you're trying to get directions to go somewhere, it'll tell you where you are. This is where our boat was, y'all. This is the wild blue yonder. That's the yonder. I'm, I don't want to go that far. We're on a stinking pontoon boat. No. So bigger boats would come by and just slosh us around. Now, I love the sloshing. I really do. Some people are like, Whoa. but no, not me. I love the sloshing, but not on a little boat with my grandkids on it because that, that's too many people I got to save and I can't swim. 
Okay, well, I mean, I could probably get back to the boat, but nobody's going to be happy to see me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these two little kids. They're just adorable, but we don't really know them. And if you do know them, I'm sorry, but um, I'm not going to, I'm not putting them in my book. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to just mark here. And come on now. Mark right here. Oh. Oops, mark there, all right? And then I'm going to cut my picture on those lines. And you're like, but wait, Kathy Bo, you still got some filling in to do. Hey, I got you, okay? I got you. There we are. Now, we got a little, little square, but it's still not the perfect size, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig in my little box here. Please hold. I'm going to find me some pretty paper. Is that too bright? Yeah, that's not right. i go find me some paper, y'all. i going to find me some paper. I should have... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, y'all. Hold on. Not like you're going anywhere, right? I'm like, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, so these... There might be something in here that I can use because this is the old... Um, this is from Stampin' Up, and it is called Let's Go Fishing. Don't look for it. Y'all know. Y'all know, don't you? It's retard. Well, apparently I've used a bunch of it. We might, we might can get enough of this. Let's see. Yeah, y'all. I mean, it's not the right blue. I don't love it. Hold on. I don't love it. Please hold. Please hold. Y'all know what? Your call is important to us. Okay, here we go. I, this is my all-time favorite. I can't, probably can't really live a normal life without this paper. And um, I don't even care if this matches because I just love the paper. I just love the paper. Hold on, that kind of looks like the deep blue sea, doesn't it? It kind of does. And it kind of matches that dot. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if this is big. Oh, look at that. This is this is a match made in heaven. All right, hold on. Let's cut this down. Am I making a mess? Why, yes, yes, I am. But hold on. Hold on. We know what we're doing here. Well, I really shouldn't go that far. But I'm close. I'm close. Um, so, y'all, my friends, Christina and Heather, they're some of my besties. They came today and we crafted. And I have a couple of pictures to show you. Let me show you. All right, this is us at my dining room kitchen table. You know, people don't really use dining rooms anymore. And I would not call that a dining room. It's a big room um, inside like a great room area. Brenda likes the dark blue paper. Yay, that's what I'm using. Um... It's like a great room, y'all. My living room, kitchen, dining area. It's all there together. And um, we're crafting and having a good time. And this is us as they were leaving. Made me sad that they ever went home. But, you know, I'm sure their families wanted to see them. Um, okay, so that was today. We crafted. Had a great, great time. All right, so now we're going to take this. We're going to put our blue paper on. I do like it, Brenda. I do. We're going to do that. Because, you know, it, it's a stretch, but you could almost think that that's waves behind it, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, and for this one... Oh, and I was a minute or two late getting on tonight because... Um, Y'all know I told you I was going to cancel that expensive service that I use. Oh, there it is. Good. That I use for um, broadcasting. Well, I had to go back on it because um, it was not going to work out with the other service that I thought was a lot cheaper. Nope. Nope. Um, Gloria, fireworks already? Neighbors, why? Yes, yes, they are. I know, Gloria. They've been going every night over here. Heather says it was such a fun day. It really was, y'all. We just... we Okay. Y'all know I have told y'all about the where we go for a week and craft... Um, at a lake house. Well, those those are my... All right, the one in the um, burgundy shirt, 
that's Christina, and she she has arranged those um, events for us. Like I think she said today, we we've, we've had eleven of them, right? Two a year, I think. It's just an amazing, wonderful week that we spend together. And then the one in the white shirt, that's our friend Heather, and she's she's just y'all. She's got my heart. Okay, so here we are. We got this right. I'm. I'm going to say, I know you're somebody's beloved children, but bye. Okay. Toss them. Okay. So there's this little, this little hunky dory thing right here. I don't even know what hunky dory means. And I'm just going to stick it down in there. Just put it down in there. All right. Let's see. We're going to see it together. There we are. That's pretty good. It's a little, it's a little wopsided, but hey, you know, I'll fix it another day. And I'm thinking I could I don't know. We'll we'll look at it another day. So here's some pages that I that I tore out of the book. And I did want I wanted this on the front. And y'all, I'm not gonna sit here and scrapbook this whole thing. I'm just gonna give you an idea of what you might want to do. Um oh hey Robin, I'm so glad you came by. Just feel free, free parking. Feel free to hang out. It's so good to see you. Angela, great picture of us. Yes, but there's somebody missing, Angela. Somebody's missing. But we'll fix that, won't we? Um, <laughs> okay, so I got, you don't have to have, like, paper like this. You can use, you, you can go to Dollar Tree and get you some, this is eight and a half by 11, whatever size your book is, you can get 12 by 12 or whatever and just get you some, um, some paper and decorate it like you want to. You don't, you don't need to do a whole lot. I cut out the little turtles because these turtles are like, you know, the whole thing. Um, well, you may not know Jekyll Island, Georgia is now see, I'm never going to go to the club, the club resort. So I'd probably put this little turtle right there, right over the club. Because the club is like $10,000 a day. Not really, but close enough. So this this is just some more. These are some more pictures that I cut out of the magazine. Um, Y'all, on our little boat trip, which I really wanted to show you, but there's a lot of kids in bathing suits that I'm not going to show on here. You see, I don't even think I have a good boat picture because of that. Um, might have one of my son, the boy. Hold on. No, but I do have some I'm going to show y'all. We got on the little pontoon boat, and we pulled out away from the dock. And I mean, literally just as we were just, just getting out of the dock area, the little porpoises showed up. The dolphins, I know there's a difference, but whatever they are. These guys, they showed up, and they showed out, and they were jumping and having a good old time. And um, just, again, another picture, and another picture, and this one, okay? So what I'm going to put in here, baby girl, she went with us, and if y'all came in late, where did I put her? Hold on. If y'all came in late, you might have missed this. Hello. She's wearing her crown. This is my baby girl. So she rode on the boat. Let me see her picture back. Here. Well, I'll just I'll just go through the pictures. I don't believe there's any people pictures here. Look at that tree. Y'all, it's a whole island with trees laying on their sides like that. Isn't that cool? It's got a name, but I don't know what the name is. Um, beautiful white sandy beaches. And now it's not as white beachy. Oh, hey, Elizabeth, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back. Eight o'clock on Tuesdays, my friend, set you a timer. I don't want you to miss anything fun. Um, Elizabeth, this is Jekyll Island, but y'all, they're not white, white sandy beach like the Gulf is uh, around Pensacola, any any of the Gulf shores, um, but it's, it's prettier than Tybee Island, which is a little north of Jekyll, and some of the sand is more brownish, but I still love it, whatever. Okay, this is the edge of the boat. We we got, we anchored, 
and our the kids and um, daughter-in-law and our son jumped out and they walked or swam, whatever, to this little private island. Well, it's not private. It's just a little island. There's nothing on it. Um, it it's not private as in there's a sign and you have to have permission. It's just an island. And they're out there playing. And they walked way out here. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I'm like on the boat. Um, Y'all know I was dying in the heat, right? Okay, so... Everybody went home Sunday night. Sunday night, Ninja Man and I went to a hotel on Jekyll, and we were going to stay till Thursday. And if y'all were here last week, you know what happened. We had to leave Tuesday morning because our um, our pool lost its mind while we were gone, and we had to do some repairs. But anyway, this is a um, it's a, a walkway from the hotel to the beach. And this is where it ends. I mean, it you just walk right there and boom. And that was low tide. So you see the tide is going to come up to here. So, I mean, doggone. There's my ninja man. There he is with baby girl. Here's baby girl. She's hugging her little bottle. She she has a drinking problem, y'all. Um, she, <laughs> she was on the boat. And yes, she was wearing her little floating de device. But she got too hot. So I did take it off and let her cool off a little bit. But she never left my side. She stayed right here for six hours. Six. And um, <laughs> about three hours in, I thought, what are we going to do if Mila needs to go potty? Well, the girl, she's she's got a, a tank. She, she did not have to go. She didn't even act like it. And again, with the direction of the boat. Um, so yeah, there we are. Okay, now... That gives you an idea. I do want to spend some very creative time putting this together, so that's why I'm not really going to do all that right now. But um, but I did want y'all to see some of the process, okay? Okay. Now, y'all ready to make a card? Let's make a card. Oh, let me put this back. Good grief, I'm just wrecking everything over here. Guess what? My um, my iPad right right here that I'm filming on, has seven percent but it's charging so hey if it drops me off it drops me off well hey debbie i'm so glad to see you here tonight y'all you remember this little strippy card the we've done these before we're gonna do one tonight um when my friends were here crafting today i made a bunch of these and um i may be asking some of you for your address just saying just saying this is a specific card for my friend Emily Wilbert. The picture you're about to see is probably 20 years old, and it's yours truly. And we were calling somebody, um, somebody, I don't know who, but you, look at the phone. It's a razor. It's a razor phone. And that's me, y'all. I, I know the hair, the age, all that, but hey, it happens. And my sweet friend, Emily, I love her so much. So I had two of these printed, and I got one on my wall over here, and then one is going to her. Okay, now I need to put that where I won't forget it. Okay. So, y'all, we are going to use some of this. We're actually going to use some of this black and white paper. Now, you don't have to have everything I have. Um, Deborah Gray loves the beach in the spring in the fall. Deborah, have I said hello yet? I'm looking. I don't know, but Deborah, if I didn't, hello. So glad to see you. Um, Debbie, thank you. It I love that picture of she and I. Um Emily, let me tell y'all real quick about this. Emily, she's a dear, dear friend. Okay. We had to my husband's company shut down. He was in aviation and his company shut down and we had to move to Savannah so he could do aviation, right? Um, our daughter was 17 and had never lived anywhere but in our small town of Moreland, Georgia. Moreland, M-O-R-E-L-A-N-D, one word, Moreland, because there was more land, okay? Um, so, it was so funny, we decided we'd put up a picture of her in the church and say, free to good home, because she wanted to finish her senior year out at um, in, in our 
community where she had lived her whole life. She didn't want to change, and I couldn't blame her. She didn't want to change in her senior year. So um, we were saying free to good home. Well, I mean, I think we had just put the poster up when Emily and her husband said, we'll take her, and they did her whole senior year. She lived with them. She was able to finish high school um, with with all the kids that she started out with. And um, sometimes I want to cry when I think of how precious a gesture was for um, Emily and Bill to do that. It, it was it was just so gracious, and we were so appreciative. Um, so, y'all, we're using black and white. Um, this was the Zoo Crew. It still is, okay, but I say was because we don't sell this now. But, y'all, any paper will do. You don't need, you don't need this, all right? Um, so let me tell you the thought behind it. Here's one with some other paper that I can't remember the name of, um, but it's it's splooshy paper, okay? It's got splooshes. And I started with a black background. Um, Debbie, that's what fabulous friends do. Right, right. And they became family. I mean, not even kidding. It's like, who, who, how do you think? Uh, there's, there's just no words, you know? Um, when you want to give your kid away and somebody says, I'll take him. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, so then after, after she graduated, of course, she came to Savannah with us and uh, she attended college at Savannah College for Art and Design. Um, so this one here, I started, at, okay, this one's a little more detailed because I actually had a uh, die that cut all this out and then I placed the pieces back in. So that's how that one would look, look close, and you can see how it's a die. And that bird just happened to match. I cut him out of something else, stamping up. Um, I stuck him on there. But that's been a while. Here are the cards I made today. Okay, um, this is the same paper. All right, it just says thanks. All right, nothing fancy. Oh, and this is funny because when I made it, I couldn't make it do what it's supposed to do. But y'all, it stands up. See that right there? Well, it pops out. It goes like this, okay? Um, Robin, thank you. Robin loves that one. Um, so it'll flatten when you go to mail it, and then they can just pooch it up a little bit, pooch it. All you got to pooch it, and there you are, okay? Here's, here's the technique we're going to use tonight, okay? Now, black and white, it's not my thing, but y'all, when you put it together... It's popping, right? Um, we're going to make this tonight, and it's it's very similar to that, but these papers are actually laid in to a die, where these are not, and I'll show you. I'll show you the, the difference. So I got on a roll, y'all, because I needed a bunch of cards. Again, this is the same paper stack as this, and there you are, right? Same paper stack. Um, and yes, I sat around cutting out all of these thank yous, which right now I can't find the little, here it is. Here's a little bag full of thank yous. I just cut a bunch of them out. Look how, look how many. And I used, guess what, retired dies from Stampin' Up. I'm sorry everything's retired, y'all, but listen, that's the way things are going to be for a little while because uh, we be po. We had to pay a bunch of taxes, and I'm not going to be buying a whole bunch of stuff that I've already got. But, uh-oh, this is called Amazing Thanks Dies. Now, you don't have to have these. You can have any kind of dies, um, just whatever you want, you know, just, but please avoid things like Timu and people like that because they're knockoffs and they are just going to, um, they're, they're going to fail you at some point. Um, here's another one, and here's another one, Okay. All right, so that's what we're making tonight. And here's our base. We got a little bit of ribbon from Hababi Lababi. And y'all know about the ribbon, right? Well, you don't even know what I'm thinking. Hold on. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's say that you need a particular color, all right? These are Tim Holtz 
oh, Tim Holt Shears um, Tonic Studios. I think it's got like a, it's not nylon, what, Teflon. It's like a Teflon finish. They don't, they don't get sticky and all that junk, and they cut really well. Okay, so sometimes ribbon does not cut as well, especially grow gain, grow gain, grow, grow grain, whatever it's called. I'm going to show you about this ribbon. And y'all have shown you before, but maybe not everybody's right here that's seen it before, right? Maybe, just maybe, some of y'all are like, Kathy Bo, I've never seen that. Um... Debbie, isn't it amazing how the same technique with different paper looks so that yes, yes, Debbie, that and Debbie, another thing, my friend Christina, poop in the burgundy shirt, hello, she told me a long time ago that she loved some paper that I had, and I did not love the paper, and I'm like, please take it, y'all. She used it in little snippets, just smaller ways than looking at the whole thing. Um, this is not me. It is not me. However, when you put, when you put it on a card, I mean, that's, that's busy, but I do, I still like it because the white balances it out. But when you put it on like this, I mean, it looks amazing. So yes, Debbie, exactly. All right. This is an alcohol marker. You can use, um, uh, water-based markers, but you, you're just going to take some white ribbon. Okay, this is a satin ribbon, and will it need to dry? Why, yes, yes, it will. If you don't let it dry, you're going to have blue all over you, or whatever color you're using. But look, you can, you can get it as dark as you want. I'm just going to keep going on the top and show y'all how pretty. Look at that beautiful ribbon. Debbie, all together, it's fab. It really is. It is fabulous. I love it, love it, love it. So y'all, don't, don't sleep on the whole cheap ribbon because um, it's good stuff. You can color it, okay? All right, now you go down there where those cute little boys are. Y'all have fun together. Okay, <laughs> it's my trash can. Okay, so we are going to start with a black card base, which, you know, most people would have already had this cut, but guess what? I forgot I didn't have it. All right, so, but hey, why not show y'all how to do everything, right? All right, we're going to take this black card stock. Now, your card is going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. So, this is five and a half, but on my on this layer, I'm going just under five and a half. I think this would be five and one, two, three eighths. Yeah, we'll call it that. Mathematician, I am not. All right. Five and three eighths, we think. Then four and a quarter is your next measurement, and I'm going down to four and one eighth. Oh, I do know that's correct. So it's five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And all that's doing is giving us a background. Okay. I, oh, let me grab a card base. Rotcher, rotcher, rotcher. And y'all, when I fold my card bases, I just put the two corners together. Oh, Debbie, thank you. <laughs> Debbie says she missed my humor. You're so sweet. You make me so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do this, right here. We got to, we got to use a bone phone. Where's John 316 going, y'all? What is, a, mm, somebody, mm, okay, stay. All right, so here we go. We're just bone foldering this thing down. Okay, whew. we're going to set this aside and let it think about what it's done for just a minute. Here's our, wait a minute, come back. This is, this is what I'm talking about. You're getting a one eighth inch around. All right. Do it this way because it had a little bit, a little bit of something, something showing. There you go. See how it's going to frame it just right. And the reason we want to do this is because there's, it's black and white. And I do want the white to soften the black. Does that make sense? I don't know. Like, like that y'all. Okay. All right. But if you're doing another color, go for it. 
Okay, we're going to get our strips now. Um, that's why we call it the strippy. Okay, we're going to... Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on, this is six by six paper, and sometimes this feels like about a four by five and seven eighths cutter hickey. Get out of there, y'all. Rude. Okay, put that, put that right there. Now, while we got this guy out, we're gonna keep cutting. Come on now, get in now, get on in now. All right, here we go. There's just the tiniest little ridge on the cutter that um that makes it easy for me to just press the paper up against right there okay and this is a stampin up cutter but y'all other people have them i think we are memory keepers has some now y'all are probably like Kathy Bo, that's too short no no it's not we're going to use it we're going right here and these are half inch half inch strip a -roos. We can use that. We can use it. Trust me. All right, this one. Uh, Y'all are probably, why don't you come in the other side? Well, maybe I will, okay? Maybe I will. Here we go. That one looks a little narrow. We'll see. Let me try going in the other side like y'all are thinking. Hold on. Come on now. Okay. All right. Yeah, so 4th of July, y'all. Is it? Does anybody have any plans? I do. Big plans. I'm staying at home. I'm sitting, sitting here, not going anywhere. I'm not going to be in the heat. not going to be in the traffic. I'm not going to be grumpy. Well, I'll take that back. Anything can happen. But see the back of this? It's just those little, those little animal things. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to be home. Our, um, there's a big recreation park. This county really does recreation. They really do. Um, they know their business. Um, big park, very well maintained. Got all the programs for all the people. There's a big water park there. Again, county maintained. It's crazy. Bullock County, Georgia. B-U-L-L-O-C-H. If y'all want to look at what's out here. Um, and then if you want to move down here, that's fine. We'll craft, okay? Anyway, so they did this big fireworks show, but guess who didn't want to sit in traffic? Mm -hmm. I didn't. And um, Ninja Man's like, okay, fine, we won't. So we did not we did not go, but we did sit out there by the pool and watch fireworks because they're just over those trees right there, y'all. Brenda said she's staying home for the 4th. Yep. I mean... I don't know, y'all. It, it's just, it's too stinking hot for me. It just is. And here's the problem. When I get hot, everybody's sad. Everybody. Everybody gets sad. Because I'm like, get out of my way. <laughs> not really. Well, sort of, but not really. Okay, now we're going to get this real busy print right here. And by the way, this was a 12 by 12 stack, Okay. Um, Debbie, we had our fireworks Saturday, so we'll be home too. There you go. Um, I think our son and his family are going back to Jekyll. They asked if we wanted to go, and I'm like, ew. But, um, you know what? I'm going to cut this one this way because it's got more, more detail going on. Like that. Um, yeah, it, it's just too hot. Too hot. All right, let's see what else we got. My, oh, okay, y'all. Here, here's the thing. The, my first thought when I saw this, this paper right here was, uh, I'm just gonna say the word occult, right there. I'm not a fan, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm not certainly not trying to offend anybody. But hey, I don't like it. And guess what? Going down there where those little boys are, their little picture with their little blue ribbon. Yeah, I told them they won first place. That's why they got a blue ribbon. All right. We're going to do this. And yes, y'all saw me toss paper. Paper I don't want. It, it was the first time I saw it, I, I thought, ew. And then I thought, no, nah, it's just me. And um, I consulted with uh, 
others, and they agreed. It looked, um, it looked a little occultish. Okay, that's more than we're going to need, but I didn't want to run short. Make sure I got some of pretty much all of that I wanted. I got the flowers, les fleurs. Okay, flowers and dots and pointy things and what else? I don't know. Okay. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. We might need that. I don't know. But right now, no. Okay. Like, okay. <sighs> um, Angela, marching in the parade. Angela Webb. Listen to me calling you Angela Webster. Angela McRae, walk, marching in a parade. Look, listen to you. Hiking with a friend, swimming, then cooking out. No, I haven't had my account packed. <laughs> Lord willing, I'm doing all that. Girl, all right. Well, hey, if things start going south, you just stop, grab your water, and sit down. You know, I mean, I'm just saying. All right, y'all. Now I'm just kind of figuring where I want things. All right, let me tell you this. When you start off with a card that's a rectangle. You're not going to be able to go from this corner to that corner, okay? Nor do you really want to. That would be boring, right? So we're just going to make sure that this edge, I'm going to zoom in. Y'all know I have trouble zooming back out. Um, John P. Oh, poo. John P. I got to tell Ninja Man to call our daughter. Hold on. Everything's fine. She's just texting me. Please hold. John, yeah. would you please call, uh, call Shell? Tell her I'm on my live and I'll be done in a bit. Okay. Tell her I'll call her when I get off, but y'all go ahead and, and talk amongst yourselves. Okay, I'm back. Um, the daughter doesn't call very often, so, and clearly she doesn't know when I'm live. Okay, y'all, so here's the thing. I'm concerned about this corner and this corner. This is the important part. Because you want your corners to cover like that, right? There. See? Like that. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, yes, I have another way to do my, do my glue today, y'all. I'm trying something a little different because um, I'm in an argument with this guy. We're, we're, we're having a little we're having a little moment, me and him. Um, I still, I still think it's a fabulous tool, but, um, but then again, I'm, I'm a little emotional with it. Um, I want it to do what I want it to do when I want it to do it, right? That's not asking too much, is it? Okay. See how the corner looks like this on the back. Oops. Sorry. I know I'm close. I know. Okay. There we go. All right, so now we have our starting point, and then we have different sizes. Now, how much space do we want between these? That's, that's, a, good, that's a good thing to consider. See how much space? It's up to you. It is up to you. This one gets a little crazy, all right, but who, who knew? Now y'all do. This one, I would say this, this would be my go-to spacing. But then we have this bold monster here. I mean, look at, they're different. It's just however you end up doing it. Okay. Don't get tired of seeing those. I might have to whip them back out. Okay. I definitely don't want two black pieces side by side. I want it to go black and white. Um, and it's okay if, if it's, if it's done that way, but you know, you want it to be interesting, right? I'm, I'm looking at the little corner. This one just happens to fit rather perfectly. Rather. Okay, I had a little piece. Is that him? Maybe. Maybe. All right, so now we're going to have a little free-for-all. Our corners are going to go over the edges of our, of our um, base. And guess what? We have scissors. Yes. We have a solution for pretty much all the problems you might encounter. Maybe. I'll tell you one thing 
that you should not do is peel this back up after using liquid glue. Ask me how I know. Is there one in the trash can that did not make the, the cut? Why, yes, yes, there is. Okay, we're going right there, right there. And if y'all are feeling froggy, you can go ahead and just put your glue right there, but um, no, I'm not doing it. Not today. Well, I, okay, I did do it earlier today, but no. And before, before you get a little crazy and keep this pattern going that way, don't do it. I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, come on, little piece. We're, maybe this, I don't know. We're going to use this anyway. I'm going to put it right there. Okay. Now this one, I will put a little bit of glue right there because, uh, glory. Uh, Gloria, I like them at least one eighth to one sixteenth inch apart. Yes, the, that one eighth to me is perfect. Um, Dana, hey Kathy, just got home from dinner at my son's. How nice, Dana. I hope it was good. What did y'all have? Because I had chicken noodle soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. And it's not even hot here, y'all. Why did I turn it all around? I don't Okay, so now we got that, and you would think I would start here and work my way that way and that way, but no, I'm not going to do it because somebody's going to get short over here. So I am going to, I'm going to place this first one right here, and I'm going to need start needing some pieces here in a minute, and um. Like Gloria was saying, an eighth to a sixteen inch apart is a good measurement. And if if you if you have a little eighth inch different color, like I might use a bright yellow eighth inch wide and lay it down, and then put my next piece down, you know, in order to get it measured correctly. So I'm going to start needing some pieces, y'all. And this is the secret right here. You just start cutting it. And, and, you know, you want to flip it over to cut it. Trust me. Trust me. Uh-oh. I got into the, into the base there, but it's okay. It's okay. Look up there. Now, that would be cute right there. You could just, you know, have the little pointy things. Um, well, they're pointy on this side. And you could use a cutter with this. It's just a little tricky because um, you do, sometimes you can get into your base. And, you know, that's that's a layer of cardstock plus a layer of scrapbook paper. It's a little thick, a little bit. Okay, these little pieces, we might use some of them. Okay, um, let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. I really want a black piece. Here we go. We're going to put him right there, right there, right there, and this little piece right here, I'm not really worried about it. It's showing a little bit more than I want it to, but that's okay. Ooh, pork chops, mashed potatoes, and beans. My goodness gracious, y'all, we're eating at Dana's son's house next Tuesday night. That's where we're heading. I'll see y'all there. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm really grateful for my soup. However, it's not mashed potatoes and pork chops and beans. There should be a song about pork chops and mashed potatoes and beans. There should be a song. I could make one up right quick, but it may not be appropriate for all audiences. So I'm going to refrain all right, y'all. See how this is going? Um, let's see. Now, see, these are wider strips. These are probably three-quarter of an inch, or maybe they're a whole inch. Hold on. I have a handy mechanism right here that will tell me. Oh, they are a whole inch. It's okay. We can do any size we want. There's no strippy card police. Well, I mean, not anymore. Not since that last incident. Uh-oh. I don't want dots yet. I want les fleurs. Les fleurs. Les mieux. You remember Pepe Le Pew? And the little cat would be 
Let me. Let me. There we go. Uh oh. The idea, y'all, is to try and keep. Oh, let go of me. Rude. Ew. Uh, try and keep this line going and these lines. Okay? Just try. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying. All right, we're going to go here. Then that one can go. I mean, it's overly eager as it is. Hey, Michelle Merriman. How are you, my friend? There we go right there. Now, we're going to need a little extra uh, glue up under this guy because I didn't go very far on the strip. Okay. And now this think pot can go on there. I'm going to give him a little more glue. There we go. A little more glue here. Oh, there we go. So my daughter and son-in-law have started a new business. They're both um, highly educated. Um, and they are using their talents and um, resources to start a marketing business. And um, they're both artists and they are well-versed in all the art forms, including graphic art. So um, they are d doing, you know what? I haven't used him yet. Look at that. They are um, just breaking out with this marketing business and I'm really excited for them. That's what she was calling to talk about, I think. Because dad did not stay on the phone. So, oh, hold on. We're getting crazy, y'all. I'm forgetting where my darks and my lights should go. All right. Oh, almost did it, didn't I? Almost. Um, Dana, I make these cards a lot and run through an embossing folder. Dana! Oh, my goodness. An embossing folder. Dana! Should I do that? Maybe. I might try that. I might mess it up if I try it tonight. Plus, with the black... I don't know that you'll be able to see a whole lot of it. We're going with dots again. Oh, here's us a dots. See the little pieces? You end up using them. Oop. And uh, one thing I love about this, well, okay, the whole choice of paper. I often make these with paper that I don't love because I told you my friend Christina, she showed me the ropes. She said, don't use the whole sheet. Don't look at the whole sheet. Just use a piece of it, right? Look at that. It just happens to fit just perfectly. Now, some people play well with others. You see? He plays well with these guys. And I am going to put my glue right here. Okay. Oh, doggies. Come on now. Hold on. We, we need a uh, pickup on aisle 13. Hold on. Seriously? Okay, fine. This will do. Boop. Turn it over. Boop. And it goes like this. And this little guy needs to be babied a little bit to get him where we want him. This is a jewel picker tool. Amazon. I mean, it's awful. It's awful fancy. Oh, Debbie wants me to do it. <laughs> Oh, Debbie. All right. Hey, y'all. Challenge accepted. We're going to run it through an embossing machine. All right. Look at this. We're going to emboss it. We are. But I got to see what I want to do. And um, y'all might be surprised, but my embossing folders, every stinking one of them, retired. <laughs> yes, Dana. Use your leftover pieces. I typically would cut these all up and use them as I'm going, typically. That would be your, your most efficient way. However, I did not take my efficient pill this morning. Um, so, <laughs> so we're not doing that yet right now, but I did do it earlier today. I had pieces all over the table, y'all. I had quite the mess going. Boop. 
But y'all, I have a little order from scrapbook.com coming. No, it wasn't. That was a rumor. Hold on. It's from Sizzix. It's um, some nautical dyes, Lisa Oliver. Nautical coming our way. Nautical dyes and uh, nautical kind of a, it looks like a fishing net rope thing. Oh, poo. I do it wrong every single time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Debbie says sometimes you have to live on the edge. Yes! <laughs> We're going to rappel down that cliff if it kills us. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be using a retired embossing folder, y'all. We are, we're doing it. We are doing it. Let me, y'all, I told y'all I cut too many, but this, this is what you do. You take all this and you make you another one, right? Okay, all right, we got to look at the embossing folders, y'all. But look, see what where we're going? See where we're going? Oh, Michelle, thank you. Michelle says, I just love your card. Oh, Daddy says, we got you, girl. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm using my oh, Gina K Intracut. Yes, it's heavy. Uh oh, y'all. Donald, he just fell. He's okay. He feels fine. He feels fine. Let me see if I can. There he is. There he is. Leftover pieces from all sorts of paper scraps, all different colors. Yes, Dana, that would be so pretty. Yeah, Don, the Uncle Donald lives over here on my, um, he, he's in charge of my distress mica stains that I use. And, um, so far so good. He's, everything, everybody's behaving. Everybody's doing good. He just, he just sometimes flips a little bit sideways and falls off. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're just using this platform here. The one that says, this is not a cutting surface. Oh, look, there's indentions. Who would have cut on this such a thing? Oh, my goodness, Michelle. I'm so sorry. I hope Auntie's okay. Oh, my goodness. That must be so painful. All right, y'all, we're just going to grab a handful to begin with, and um, I'll show you what we got. Retired. Uh, Heather, fading fast, so enjoyed our crafting time today. Okay, go go to rest, do what you got to do. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, the things you find. Oh, gosh. Oh, Michelle. Oh, all right, y'all. I like the dots. We're doing dots. Oh, Michelle, that's a lot. I wasn't expecting to see that. Oh. Okay. Uh, now, y'all, this is the one of the original thin Sizzix folders. All right. I don't know, but I think we're going to be okay just using it on the die cut setting. We're going to put this inside right there. Whew. All right. Um, all right, Debbie, here we go. Here we go. We're we're gonna but we're gonna try it and then we're probably gonna have to run it back through because I don't know that I've got enough pressure on it. I can adjust it. Here it comes. Hold on. Yes, the dots are good for black and white. Thank you, Heather. All right, we're gonna make it tighter. We're going we're going that way on this little dial down here. It's got a uh oh. She's scared and could use prayer. Yes, you got it, Michelle. We will be praying for her. We will be praying for Michelle's aunt. Um, Michelle, what's her first name? And I knew that's what you meant when I saw the P-R-O. I knew that. Oh, 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 yo. Look out here, look out here. Look at this. Can you, can you see the, hang on. I'm going to make it where you can see it. Hold on. Hold everything. Oh, poo, come on now. I can see it. Y'all. It's there. It, it's on the back. You can definitely see it here, right? Oh, her name is Kathy. Okay. All right. So y'all please be in prayer for, for Miss Kathy, Michelle's aunt. She's she's anxious about upcoming surgery, rightfully so. Okay, guys, we we survived that little thing there. 
Michelle, you see you're getting prayers now for your auntie. And that is so sweet, y'all. Okay, now we got our little our little ribbon. We don't need to color our ribbon because we're doing black and white, right? All right, let me get my better scissors. Oh, I've got the baby the baby Tim Holtzies. These right here. I love them. Did I order another pair from um Debbie says love it. Thank you. Thank you. It's I mean, if you if you're holding the card, you can really see that texture. It looks great. Um but yeah, I, I did. I ordered another pair of paper snips, not this, but another pair of paper snips from um, Sizzix because they were on sale. Oh, there we go. Yep. Um, Miss Judy Ann, she said she's praying. And Brenda, a bunch of folks are praying, Michelle. Okay, so y'all, this is just cheating a little bit. Um, with the ribbon, you just cut off a little bit more than you need, and then you, you get it somewhat correct on the front, okay? We're almost finished, y'all. We are almost finished, because one good thing, I've already got all my thanks already done. Um, that was, if you're late getting in here, that was the amazing thanks dies from Stampin' Up! that are retired, and it's got the outside... Um, Sh uh, shadow edge here and then the actual word thanks is on my desk somewhere um <laughs> it popped off while i was trying to show you here it is rude oh my gosh see that fits right in but you don't cut it that way it's just to say that this is the shadow and this is here um Heather's praying and Lisa's praying. Michelle, check the comments because everybody's praying for her, and that is so sweet, y'all. Thank you. Um, I'm telling you where where two or more are gathered, right? Okay, this is our background. We've got our ribbon on, and we don't really need to stick it down here because we're going to have um, we're going to have another another piece coming. Lisa, thank you. Lisa loves the card. All right, here we go. Y'all, this little thing came from Hubobby Lababi. It's, um, it was like $2.49 for four of them. Never going to use four, so I shared two, and I kept one. $2.29. Look, I just saved 20 cents. Debbie says, amen. These applicator bottles. Angela's praying. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, y'all. I just love it when sisters in Christ come together over things. All right, there we go. Okay, now we do need, we need an oval. We need an oval. Scalpel. <laughs> it's not a real scalpel, y'all. It's not. Hold on, I gotta have some white cardstock. I've got some. I, I do, I do. Actually, you know what? I've got some. Um, it was shiny, and I had it the other day. Hold on, it just take me a second, y'all. It's here. It's here. Ooh, what about? No, nah, that's a little. That's a little uppity right there. Ooh, nope, that's too flashy. We're not trying to, you know, be the the whole boss of everything. Um, I got to cut a piece. Would you look at this? Look at this. Uh-huh. Yes, prayer warriors for each other, 100%. Now, y'all, typically, typically, I would recommend that you die cut first and then emboss because a lot of these little pokey things, the little dots, they ain't going to live. They're not going to make it, but it's okay because... It's the thought that counts at this point, right? All right, we got this little bitty machine. This is very much like the bigger one I just showed you, except it's not. Not at all. <laughs> it die cuts, okay? Hang on. Please hold. There we go. Okay. I don't know how bad I'm flattening out those little dots. 
but we'll see. I almost don't want to look to y'all. It's not bad at all. Look. Boop. Yay. We kept our dots. Boop. And we have stitches and dots. And dots and stitches. Okay. Now, we have this. Oh, okay, y'all. I'm loving the whole, the whole emboss. And then, because these dots go with those dots. Gosh, I really want y'all to see those. Put our little die back right away because, you know, we could lose things. Now, at this point, you can pop this up with Stampin' Dimensionals. Not going to do it. But I'm just saying, you can. All right, I'm going to center it. Y'all, we're almost home free. wonder if it opens correct. It does. That, that, was just, that was just, wow, a fluke because I don't think I checked it. Okay, let me show y'all. Thanks. Okay. We got a thanks with the black background. I'm going to zoom in. Thanks with the black background. We have a white background with a black thanks. Wow, that pops, doesn't it? A blue. I'm just going to look at all of them. I got like a light, uh, like a teal. That doesn't really show up very much. Oh, how about blue with a white? Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. A little pink. That's kind of cute, but doesn't really, no. We're going to go with that, I think. Um, here's a blue. Yeah, we're going to go with, um, this. Thanks. Thanks. And we have a ton of thank you. Thank you very much cards. Thank you very much. We're just going to put a little glue on here. Boopity boop. Like that. This is where this little guy comes in handy with the teeny tiny tip. There's a hundred ways to put glues on this thing. Um, you like the black word with white. You talking about the black background with white? If I hadn't already glued it. It's too late. You already got glue on it. Oh, I see, because the black against the white. Hold on, we can use glue another day. Please hold. Like that, because this is white. Uh, Clinton? Uh, Clinton? You you know what? Here's here's the story, Clinton. Oh, now I've starred you. Uh, uh, hold on, we're not doing that here, Clinton. You just go do that somewhere else. You can beg all you want, but you ain't going to do it on my life. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry for whatever's going on, but um, we be po over here. Oh, what I glued down. Uh, um, Brenda loves the pink. Then again, pink is my favorite. These black and white cards are awesome. Thank you. Glory Wolf, what you glued down. Well, here we, here, here we go. All right, hold on. But here's the thing. We can look at both of them. Hold on. Hold on. This is white background on white. And this is black background. All right. Okay. Um, they're, they're only $2.29, Michelle. They are super cheap. And when... Um, when they go on sale at Hobby Lobby, they are in the something department. You know how that's where they are, the something department. Yeah. But, um, Michelle, I'll be happy to send you some. Clinton, Nick, go away. Y'all, I tried to get rid of him, and what I did was post, uh, pin him. Rude. Clinton, Nick, t show yourself the door. Um... I don't know how to get rid of him, y'all. Um, somebody can get rid of him. That would be awesome. Um, and it's starred for some reason. I don't want him starred. I don't want him here. I don't want Nairn to do with him. No. Uh, y'all, I'm trying to get rid of him. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'll block him later. There we go, y'all. There's our card. It says thanks.
And then you could do a little something, something along here. Now, one of the something, somethings I think would be cute is if you just take a bunch of corners like this and just put a bunch of corners. But ain't nobody got time for that. So I am going to put... Am I going to put that down? You know what I could do? Hold on, hold on, y'all. Last, last little touch. It needs this, y'all. It needs it. Um, Clinton, go to the food stamp office. Right, Kathy? Good grief. This is not the time or place. Gloria, here comes the fireworks and Dave, and he has to go to bed. Oh, no. Has to get up at 3 a.m. Oh, Heather, thank you. I'm glad you're still here. Michelle, just hope he keeps his job longer than the last. He was only there three. Mm, goodness gracious. Michelle, if you want me to send you this other bottle, I will. Just um, because I know I know that you craft a lot, and I'll be happy to do that. Clinton, I ain't sending you nothing. Sorry. Well, I'm, I'm a little passionate. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be. Well, actually, I really did mean to be because it ain't the place, Clinton. All right. That's the first time I've I've had a troll. I should feel special, shouldn't I? I should. First time trolling. First time, yo, know, I'm just trimming this off. I wasn't doing anything fancy. Now, look at there. See? Pops, right? More than if I had just done this. See? Boop and boop, right? Um. Yeah, just, yeah. Apply for SNAP. Hope that he keeps the job. Um, but, but. Um, yeah, I, send me your address, Michelle, if you, if you want me to send you that other bottle. There we go, right there. So, y'all, oh, Brenda, thank you. I, you know, some days, girl, some days, I'll have a moment. I'll have a moment. I took my, um, grandkids to the, to the $3 a piece movie, um, that cost $52, but anyway, um, <laughs> it was my fault. An error occurred when retrieving Facebook comments. Rude. Okay, if I've missed somebody, it's because an error occurred. I need to put another quarter in the machine, and I don't have a quarter with me right now. So I can't. I can't fix it. But look, how cute is this? Look at that. So um, so I took, I took the grandkids to a movie, and... um. Oh gosh! <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I was. <laughs> the the hair, y'all. Kathy Vernon. That was just the snacks. I know. Okay. Here's the thing. They ran out of carbonation. I had already promised the kids they could have, um, that they could have ices, right? At, because the the movie theater sells them, all right. And um, they were out of carbonation, so nobody got. A soft drink or, okay, we call them Cokes down here. Who am I trying to fool? I'm just trying to be uppity right now. Um, Debbie, thank you. Um, I should put it right here. Anyway, um, took them and, <laughs> y'all, the four that, now they're ages 9 to 15. They're sitting on that row. I'm sitting behind them. It's kid movie day at the theater. It's $3 a kid. And then you get popcorn and a different kind of drink for $5, right? So I did all that. It, it's my fault it's $52 because I bought the big popcorn thinking I would refill all the little kid popcorns. Anyway, so I sat on the road behind them. Um, thank you, Angela and Gloria. Gloria says cute. Angela says an elegant use for little bits of paper. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm sitting behind them, y'all, and I don't know what possessed this woman to buy her, however many kids there were, to buy them the most crinkly package ever that went the whole 
movie. I gave him the old lady grandmother look where you turn, you know, you look, it's like this, you go. It didn't work, y'all. It didn't work a bit. It, have I lost it? I think I still have it. It didn't work. Could be because it was dark. Could be because the mama was looking at me as hard as I was looking at her. But I'm like, make these kids stop it. Yes, rude. I paid my $3. Hello, we need to see our movie. Anyway, I moved. I moved to the end of the row where I can still see my kids, right? Well, Boudreaux, now Mama's handed him a bag of something, and he's digging it. Here's the thing. We need a law. I'm not talking about just a rule. I'm talking federal. I'm not talking state. Federal law. You take your little varmints to the, to the $3 movie, and you need to carry a little Ziploc bag that's quiet, and you dump all their little gummy bears in there, and you let them pick one out at a time. And they have to hold the, the, the bag very still because there's some crazy old grandma sitting in front of them going to turn around and start slapping. All right? I'm just saying. I don't want to go back to jail. All right, here we go. I haven't been to jail, but my grandkids don't know that. They don't know it. So they know to behave. Thank you, Janet. Hey, I'm so glad to see you. Okay, guys, this, this is our card tonight. I will post a fancy picture of it here shortly. I hope you enjoyed this, and um, this was fun. Heather, go get you some sleep, girl. Yes, nothing crinkly in the theater. Federal. I mean, we're talking Supreme Court justice ruling. Take the little varmints off to baby prison. I don't know. I don't know, but get them out of the theater, okay? Because I'm coming back next week. I don't make the rules. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good evening. Y'all know what I'm doing next, right? Because YouTube will cut me off before I'm done talking. And here, I'm just going to click this right over here and say thank y'all so much for being here tonight. Um, Debbie, I totally enjoyed our night, too. Thank you so much. Y'all set your clocks for 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays. Um, and who knows? You might win free parking as well. All right. So God bless you guys. Have a great evening. Um, Michelle, love you too, girl. And I, I'll be praying for all the situations. Okay. Uh, Clinton, you just need to go get a job. Love y'all. Good night. Toodles.